And that's why Thomas Jefferson said, I fear more for my country when I realize that God is just. And the reason I bring that up is because there are many good people in this country who call out, <clears throat> who call out upon God and, and who want to do what is right and are praying for their country. But in point of fact, God is just. And unless and until you are doing what is right before divine universe, before the divine, unless, of course, you, you understand that truth stands on its own and truth does not need to be validated by ignorance, whatever is true, it's true. And if you back away from it, that's your problem. God doesn't, uh, there's no playing um, sides. So consequently, I feel that what I do I'm looking for the real truth. I'm looking for the real truth that's out there, like uh, X-File says. And I have come to discover that uh, when it is that you think that you have uh, a good understanding of something, you need to go back and do your homework because you probably don't have it yet. And every time I found that I thought I had it all nailed down, Anthony was right. I've been doing what I do almost of my life. Uh, 42 years I have been involving myself in the research of the occult and the dark side of the world. Occult simply means hidden, those things which are hidden. And I've been involved in researching and studying and living with the occult world for some 42 years. And something I have learned is that when you think you know it all, you haven't got any of it. And when you think you've got it all figured out, no, there's one higher than the high one who looks on and you don't have it yet. And that's why humility is the first thing that we need to have when we're deciding and when we're thinking about godly or spiritual things is humility because as one teacher of mine once said, and I've had some very, very brilliant people in my life to help me, and this one teacher said that if you can tell, some, tell an audience something about God so that the whole audience can understand it, then that will prove conclusively that you don't know anything because any pea-sized, ignorant, ill-informed, unread brain like yours cannot represent the divine presence in the universe. We do not know the hand of God. All we do know is that whatever you do comes back to you. There are certain immutable laws in the universe. And unless and until you are prepared to look at the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and wherever it may go, whoever it may lead to, if you want to look the other way or if you want to play favorites, then somewhere along the line you're going to find out you're messing with divine justice. So the point I want to make here is that too many times we have been led to understand and told things which are not true, but which are uncomfortable to confront. And consequently, we have been led into believing that the uh, judicial system, we have educational system, judicial system, incidentally the word system uh, comes from a Latin word, the Latins in Rome the ancient Romans called their sewer the system. And this is where we get our word today, the system. Yeah. So we have an educational system, a judicial system, and consequently, um, that's where we are, is in the sewer. Now, if we understand that government is corrupt, and God knows now even the most ignorant among this nation are finally waking up to the fact that the whole thing is corrupt. If we understand that government is corrupt, Banks are corrupt. Our law enforcement are corrupt. There's virtually no institution, our educational systems, no institutions in this country are above taking money under the table and looking the other way, and it's become a way of life, and soon it will be for America a way of death. Now, once you understand that the entire system we're living under is corrupt and filled with lies and deception. And now the best thing you could do if you're a politician is just kind of keep things going, just kind of keep paying people off and hoping everything will come out all right tomorrow. 
And little by little by little, what goes around comes around, and we are facing a terrible time of judgment, I believe, by the divine forces in the universe which men have called God. I don't know what God is, but I know what he isn't. One of my teachers once said, you can't make God do anything he doesn't want to, and if he's going to do something, you can't stop him. So consequently, since you can't influence it one way or the other, you should get in tune with the divine force of the universe and go with the flow. And that's what I believe, and that's what I've been trying to do all of my life. Just go with the flow and find out where the facts lead you. Because the more you begin to investigate what we think we understand, where we came from, what we think we're doing, the more you begin to see we've been lied to. We've been lied to by every institution. What makes you think for one minute that the religious institution is the only one that's never been touched? You can bet your bottom dollar that the religious institutions of this world are at the bottom of the dirt. The religious institutions in this world are put there by the same people who gave you your government, your corrupt education, the Knights Templars who set up your international banking cartels in the 12th, 13th, and 14th century are the same people that gave you educational institutions, colleges. Where do we get the word college? College comes from the collegia, the Latin Roman college of cardinals. Uh, when you, when you, I mean, I could go on for hours just giving you examples. I mean, when you graduate, you come out with a square mortar board, a black square mortar board. What's all that about? Black square mortar boards. It has to do with the planet Saturn. Saturn, you know, we're told that in the Old Testament that the Hebrew people, the Jewish people, were worshipers of one God. That's never been true not true now and never will be true. That's just one more story that's been given to us. That's never been true. The Hebrew people were worshipers of many gods, many different divine beings. They were, uh, they were the most eclectic, the most eclectic theology on the face of the earth uh, next to modern day Christianity is Judaism. Eclectic meaning it has collected from all over the world concepts and ideas and put it together and called it today Judaism. Judaism today is the most eclectic religion on the face of the earth. Virtually nothing of what it teaches is true. <clears throat> Virtually nothing of, what, of, its, um, of its supposedly background is true. And consequently, the world is filled with violence, bloodshed, or disorder, Good people are dying. There are children who are starving. Our world is in trouble. And people are calling out to God for protection. People are calling out to God to help our nation and never realizing for one moment that the divine presence in the universe not listening. Why? Because you have your own concepts of whatever you think is true, whatever you believe to be true, but you have never confronted the real truth. The real truth is that, that the people who are in power, who put this system together, have been in power for thousands of years. This has been going on from day one. I have the highest of respect for the Bible. Anyone who knows me knows I read it and study it all the time. But I'm also well aware that there are encoded messages. The rabbis will tell you that, that in the Old Testament is filled with encoded messages. I believe that Christianity is probably the most powerful encoded message the world's ever had. It's one of the oldest messages in the world, and I believe that the Christian teachings in the original scriptural understanding is the most important volatile story the world's ever known. And it's sitting right in front of you, and most people don't even see it. It is an encoded story. And unfortunately, too many people who are ill-informed, unread, and who have not spent 42 years looking at theology accept what they read in the New Testament and in the Old Testament as actual history, when in point of fact, it is not actual history. There is a message behind the message. 
And consequently, if you're reading the Bible, and if you're looking at theological subjects from the Bible point of view, uh, in a materialistic way, you're never going to see the obvious story sitting right in front of you.